my brave readers. Welcome to our reading circle. Today, we're going to read one of my favorites, Little Wolf's First Howling, written by Laura McGee Vasnowski and Kate Harvey McGee. Read and adapted by Miss Coralie. Little Wolf's father led the way straight to the top of the hill. Little Wolf zigzagged behind, sniffing each outcrop and sage. Tonight's the night, said Big Wolf, your first howling. Little Wolf's ears shivered with excitement. I'm ready, he said. I am ready to howl. Father and son sat side by side. They watched as the stars blinked on and a full moon peeked over the mountain. Is it time yet? said Little Wolf. Can I howl now? Hold on, said his father. First, let me demonstrate proper howling form. Big Wolf stood tall. He took a deep breath. He lifted his muzzle to the sky and howled. Ow! The last notes drifted out over the valley. Little Wolf was thrilled to the tip of his tail. My turn now, right, Dad? Here I go, just like you. Big Wolf nodded. Okay, son, give it a try. Little Wolf stood tall. He took a deep breath. He lifted his muzzle to the sky and howled. Ow! I'm howling, howling, howling! Big Wolf raised his eyebrows. That was a good beginning, he said, but your finish was not proper howling form. Let me demonstrate again. Ow! I got it! I got it! said Little Wolf. Little Wolf lifted his muzzle to the sky and howled again. Ow! Dippity doppity skippity scoppity scoo! Little Wolf looked over at his father. What do you think, Dad? Did you like it? Did you? Big Wolf sighed. Son, I am proud of your nose, which has led to many new trails. I admire your strength when you tumble with the other pups. Most of all, I love how your ears express your thoughts. But your howling? It is not proper howling form. Little Wolf hung his head. Let me demonstrate again, said Big Wolf. Listen closely. Ow! Each note rang clear and true and soared to the moon. Your turn, said Big Wolf. Little Wolf's heart swelled with wildness and joy. He knew it wasn't proper howling form, but he had to let loose. Skiddly scully beep bop ba boo boo boo! Ba-da, ba-da, we ba-ba, dilly, dally, do. Big Wolf listened closely. His tail started wagging. His ears started twitching. His paws started tapping. 
Big Wolf couldn't help it. Big Wolf jumped in. Yip yip a dibby dibby do wop a doo. Little Wolf grinned from ear to furry ear and howled back. Yip yip a dibby dibby do wop a doo. Skiddly scottly be bop ba boo boo boo. Bop it a bop it a wee bop ba dilly daddly do. Dibbity dobbity skippity scobbity scoo. We're howling, howling, howling to the moon. Together they howled the moon to the top of the sky. Little Wolf stuck close to his father as they trotted home. Wait until we tell the others, he said. Big Wolf smiled. Oh, I expect they already know. The end. It seems like Little Wolf has gotten Big Wolf to howl like him instead. What was something that you've done for the first time that you've enjoyed? Let's take a minute to think about it, pair up with someone close to you, and share your thoughts. Thank you for hanging out with us, and we'll catch you later at our next reading circle. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>